Welcome back again for discussing about endocrine system today. Our body communicate in two different pathways. One is in neurological nervous system can communicate our body with neurotransmitter they communicate one location to the other short and faster acting system and the other way our body also communicate with one to others that's by hormonal system this hormone system is long and slow acting process hormone system basically divided into two pathway one is endocrine system the other is exocrine system endocrine means secretion within the blood is called endocrine system and secretion within the duct is called exocrine system today we are focusing on endocrine system how do they work in our body let's see We know gland, we have gland in our body and they communicate with other organs in our body, secretion within the blood and they send the message to the receptor. Receptor could be like this. Receptor could be like this. And receptor also like this this is the receptor when gland secrete product this is called primary messenger system and when it fits here we call it secondary messenger system they all have nucleus here some receptor bind in the membrane and send the information inside of the cell this change the intercellular environment some receptor also are inside of the cell intercellular and the product or hormone straight can go inside and bind the intercellular receptor there they are basically lipid mount hormone lipophilic thyroxine insulin this kind of hormone can go inside and change the environment of the intercellular system and environment now that's how they communicate one to 
others. So, as we know, gland, gland has some vesicle here. They secrete the, they produce and secrete the hormone and it goes to the secondary messenger, bind in the secondary messenger, change the intercellular environment and it gives the balance, homeostatical balance, control the hormones and it's also called signaling molecule, the signal one to other, it's messaging system, sending message and the receptor, those receiving message. This is the basic phenomena of endocrine system. And exocrine, we are not gonna discuss about on it because it's basically like secreting the duct. Suppose we have pancreas, they have endocrine system, endocrine tissues, also exocrine tissues. So they secrete digestive enzyme in the digestive duct, pancreatic duct, they goes to the duodenum. That's how exocrine system works. This is the basic concept of endocrine system. And we have gland. If we see what kind of gland we have, let's look at here. This is thalamus. Thalamus has a tail. Thalamus has a tail. This is called hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. Also, the main basic control, controlling organ in the body. Hypothalamus controls our pituitary gland. And pituitary gland is dangling in the hypothalamus. This is posterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary is made by neurological tissues. They have some exons coming here and they control the posterior pituitary. Posterior pituitary, we find since it's neurological, neurological tissue made by, we call it neuro, neuro, hypothesis. Yes. Hypothesis. Neuro hypothesis. Pituitary gland produce oxytocin and ADH antidiuretic hormone. Oxytocin works for contraction in the myometrium 
during the childbirth and when child is born oxytocin also work as a stimulating hormone in the female milking duct in the breast and they stimulate the lactate milk secreting from the breast lobe to the nipple so baby can suck it that's the function of hypothesis or posterior pituitary gland and posterior pituitary gland works as a neurological process they have another lobe here this lobe is called anterior lobe anterior lobe has a capillary coming from the hypothalamus hypothalamus produce some hormones and store here this is granular this is granular it made by granular tissue so we got call it adeno adreno hypothesis thesis adreno hypothesis secret some more hormones if we check what are they they secrete a c t h adrenocorticotropic hormone all those in a one sentence is called releasing hormone because hypothalamus release it here one it release and stores here they secrete in the capillaries and they come to the different places different locations different receptors then it, we call it tropical hormone and it produce T S H it produce prolactin it produce LH it produce F S H it produce also H G H human growth hormone human growth hormone also produced by posterior pituitary gland let's see how did they work adrenocortico tropic hormone we are coming to discuss about later because when we are coming to the adrenal gland we'll talk about TSH thyroid stimulation hormone prolactin the lactose production milk production hormone LH luteinized hormone luteinized hormone is a female um, reproductive system it's just tropic there and stimulating ovaries and um, help for the fertilization and the FSH also goes to the uterus they also take place for uh, fertilization in the female reproductive system 
HGH, human growth hormone, is like children when they grow up, this hormone helps to grow them. Lack of HGH can be cause of dwarfism. This is basically a pituitary gland. They produce this kind of hormone. There is some more. Uh, this gland just right here. This is pineal body. It secretes melatonin and it has a clock there. Day and night changing when we normally go to sleep the same timing every day it secretes melatonin now let's come to the next gland we have thyroid gland Thyroid gland is like this. This is thyroid gland. Thyroid gland has four part here. One, two, three, four. They are parathyroid gland. This is isthmus. Thyroid gland basically produce thyroid hormone. thyroid hormone and parathyroid gland secrete calcitonin calcitonin Thyroid hormone increase the calcium level, produce the calcium level in our blood, but calcitonin do the opposite. It reduce the calcium level in our body when it goes high. And thyroid gland control our metabolic system thyroid hormone basically if it is more thyroid hormone as it works for a metabolic system in our body then it burns more food and the person start losing weight if thyroid hormone is hypo in our body it cannot burn enough food in our body so the person goes bigger gigantic on the side gain weight That's how T3, T4 works in our body. We have another gland. It's called Is called pancreas. 
pancreatic this is pancreatic duct they have pancreatic islets here we call it islets of Langerhans head tail and body they have beta cell they have alpha cell they have beta cell beta cell beta cell islets of Langerhans alpha cell produce glucagon when we have hypoglycemia in our body and beta cells secrete insulin they do one of the other opposite that's how they control the sugar sugar system in our body also they secrete some there is some other cell here around they secrete some digestive enzyme with those acinose cell it goes to the duodenum and help the GI tract functioning we have another gland call it kidney kidney is one of the major gland in our body and they have some cell here right here right here right here right here they have some cell here we call it EPOS cell. E C. EPOS cell. EPOS means erythropoietin oxygen sensor cell. When oxygen level is low in our body, EPOS cell produce the erythropoietin and it goes to the bone marrow bone marrow has got stem cell and they have a reaction there and they produce erythrocytes erythrocytes mean erythro means red sites mean cell erythrocytes red blood cell they produce rbc so one of the function of the kidney another function of kidney they secrete some hormones it is called renin and aldosterone 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 Run. and they work as a um, vasoconstrictor when they go to the blood and the aldosterone works as a sodium potassium it is a ATP pump um, activation and they take the sodium out of the lip of Henley to the blood so blood pressure can go up kidney wears a hat kidney wears a hat it's called adrenal cortex adrenal cortex has three part three part the inner part is medulla this part is medulla other second part and third part this adrenal cortex has another name the name is zona granulosa zona fasciculata 
Jona reticulara. So it has another na name. We call it GFR. This GFR is not that GFR in the Bowman capsule, the filtration rate, no. GFR means, G means Jona granulosa, F means fasciculara, R means reticulara. This outer layer of the cortex, they secrete aldosterone. Aldosterone, 10%, 10%. And aldosterone take place for sodium potassium antiphases, sodium repel to the blood out of the lip of Henle in the proximal cell. The second one is secretes is secreting hydrocortisol hydrocortisol and the third one hydrocortisol is anti-inflammatory product also it works as a glucose making function like when glucose level is low in our body I mean sorry yes when glucose level uh, low in our body it breaks down the fat and protein and they convert into glucose which is gluconeogenesis gluco means glucose Neo means new, genesis means creation. New glucose creation, that's what it does. Also, it works as a anti-inflammatory, basically in the skin. Label any infection, any cards, any injury, they right away they can heal it as anti-inflammatory. And the other one, third one, they produce epinephrine. Nephrine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, epinephrine. We call it adrenaline. Some place call it uh, epinephrine. It depends. It is also ten percent. And hydrocortisol is eighty percent. percent okay. yes now that's the medullary function the the third layer of zona reticulara third layer, this layer, they secrete they secrete androsin 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 pre pubic timing it remains as androsin it helps for secret places growing hair for male or female which is female have also same hormone as androsin but after pubic or post pubic the androsin goes to the testes converts into testosterone also help for the growing hair and secret places. Also it goes to the female ovaries, works as a estrogen, help for female reproductive stimulatory, 
also health growing secret places hearing in different places it works like this